Good morning. Something that would have helped me get started with FT8 when I was first getting started with FT8, and this is specific to the ICOM 7300, more than likely also other ICOM radios that have this uh, visual waterfall display on it and whatnot. First off, in your menu, and it's menu page 2, your presets here, make sure you've loaded the FT8 preset. Don't really need to do anything else on the 7300 itself after you've done that. Uh, do make sure though that your noise blanker is off, noise reduction is off, notch filter is off. One other thing, I was told on a net, uh, a tech net, probably two years ago, that uh, you should use about a third of your available power on the IC, or IC 7300 Max power is 100 watts, so I usually keep this set at 30, 33 watts. I'll crank it up to 40 sometimes. The quick thing that I wish I would have known when I was getting started. So if you go to the menu, page 1, and pull up this audio screen here. And on the computer, yeah, you throw a tune tone out. Watch this, uh, watch this guy right here. So if you play with the power... You can undermodulate or overmodulate. Ideally, you want the peaks of that sound to be at the very top and the very bottom of that audio display, which is about a third of the power coming out of WSJTX. When I adjusted that to this setting, I started making contacts all over the world. Biggest, biggest change that I made with just 100 watts in a wire or 30 watts in a wire is actually tuning this like it's supposed to be tuned. Hope that helps some folks out.